G'day everybody, it's me again. Been away for a few days, been very busy with work, so I've got a lot of updates for you. I've got pretty much a whole week's worth of videos to do this weekend and it's probably not going to happen. Um, beautiful sunny day today here in Perth. Not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, there's a new crane in the stable. Anyway, um, you guys have been following the cat bank uh, shenanigans. Um, well, if you've been watching Dash 8 BRJ's videos, or you haven't seen them, I'll uh, put his link down in the bar. Um, he got me onto these SCRs, and because he got me onto these SCRs, he also got me onto a whole bunch of other nice components too. Um, something I'll have a look at in some more detail is this uh, three-phase uh, rectifier, um, controlled rectifier, silicon controlled rectifier stack. Um, that there is a power supply out of a piece of high-end medical equipment it's using some military grade, grade components but we'll do a bit more about that later um, I've got this big uh, Peltier Junction cooler which I've got running here I'm actually using it to test one of the Puck SCRs or not Puck, uh, Stud, sorry, SCRs um, it's very simple, if I cut the current and turn it back on it's uh, unlatched now to the gate through a 330 ohm resistor that's all it needs to turn it back on I'll do a bit of a video on that Peltier Junction. Um, I have made some modifications to the code on the Arduino cap bank so I can set the voltage with the potentiometer um, so it's not fixed to the 400 volts all the time I can put it uh, higher or lower. Um, the other contact seems to be surviving a bit better. Um, yeah, I've got two of them that are exactly the same. Um, so, yeah, uh, other bits and pieces. Uh, Cider, if you like cider, get yourself some mercury, it's not bad. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? The bloody new YouTube layout's giving me the shits, I'll tell you. I can't find anything. Um, yeah, um, what else was I going to say? Jesus, forgetfulness. I should write things down sometimes. I'm going to have a play with this 202 a bit later. I did to do a bit of a sweep and a clean up out here, so it's a little bit more uh, user friendly. Um, probably have to clean up a bit more before I do anything. Uh, I've got the burner unit off that uh, boiler. I'm not really fussed playing with that. That's just going to go in the bin. But the burner unit's interesting, so I'll do a bit of a video on that at some time. Um, the pump and all the bits and pieces, I'll tear that down. Um, yeah, apart from that, uh, I'm mucking around with Festo a bit. And... Uh, yeah, I've got to fit that crane to the scanner this weekend or, or the next few days at least, time uh, permitting. Still haven't taken that to the scrapyard, I've been so busy, just haven't had time. Uh, that's the little battery I've been using to trigger the contactor for the cat bank. I did try using the chicken stick uh, to contact things, it just wouldn't. Something about the uh, thin cable, I, don't, I just don't think it could flow the current quick enough. Uh, maybe if I use some thicker wire. I uh, also did some experiments with the cap bank, just uh, having these two at a distance, like, you know, the tiniest little spark gap. Oops, the tiniest little spark gap. And then firing it and watch them fly apart, that's a bit of fun. Uh, that's the transistor that got blown up the other day, you saw. Big crack in its case. More components there to play with or pop. Got a whole bag full of semiconductors out of TVs and power supplies. They're all good, but, you know. Sometimes I've, I just keep collecting and it's just going to turn into a big bloody mess. Um, like I said I was going to have a really close look at this later. I'll do another video, but there's some really nice stuff on there. Little uh, capacitors, resistors, all to do with running the SCRs. Even these little inductors here, um, very well handmade inductors. So this is out a piece of a power supply to a piece of medical equipment. So we will we'll have a much better look at that. That's the little stud SCR. That's the heat sink. That's your gate. That's your uh, cathode, I think it is, if I get it right. Yeah, cathode, anode. That uh, cooler is uh, working quite well. Yeah, we'll do, I'll do a separate video on that too because there's some interesting things that happen when you, when you heat it up when it's in heating mode. It'll actually provide current back as it cools down. It's interesting. Anyway, that's an up waffle. Oh yeah, I did get a whole bunch of other interesting capacitors and little bits and pieces, components. Um, yeah, way too much waffle now. No action. Too much waffle. Um, I'll upload this and then I'll get stuck into the next ones. Thanks for watching.